Hey everybody, it's Eric from Varmature.com. Uh, this is a video I put together um, when I headed up to northern Arizona and got a chance to shoot Cliff from the Varmint Air Blog's new caliber gun cricket, the full-size rifle. Um, when he got it, he has done some blog posts on his site. Very informative, a lot of information, uh, great detailed pictures and you know some chronograph results and such as well. So after seeing that, I was very interested in getting up there and shooting this rifle a little bit. And after my trip to Texas, I decided to head up north and head back through Arizona. And we went into the woods and um, sat down at a bench and basically got to shoot it up in the forest. A little breezy, but 50 yards was our shots. Again, 22 caliber. It was a great morning of shooting. Enjoy. So... Basically, how many rounds is the 14. magazine? Fourteen. Yeah, let me show you. This is a little, okay. a little unusual. This mag release really has three positions. That releases the mag. This one will lock it in place, but it won't index when you run the lever. Okay. This, when it's all the way down forward, that has the I indexing see. mechanism. So, this is just hold it back. Your trigger. Oops. Okay. So now, oh, gotcha. if you and shoot, if you close this, you'll chamber pellet, but when you rack, the, it's not it going to index. Okay, so what you want to do is bring it up, it up and put it up there. Now, watch, okay, you're good to go. Safety is off. Okay. Oh, it's a safety like this? Yeah, it's back and forth. So that's, safety's on? That's safety on. That's safety on. Huh. That's kind of the opposite. I know. Yeah, which is interesting when you own a bunch of guns. <laughs> Getting used to that? Yeah. Are you dead on for 50 or is it um, one half? my eyes, with that gun, I am... Uh, uh, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch high. Okay. So maybe try. Yeah, obviously, it's not sighted in for I'll just go in. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, go just try, try it. Uh, see what happens. Get an idea. That's pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah, those flags are very handy. Huh? Those flags are very handy. As soon as I glanced over and saw they were quiet, right. no problem, hit the center. <laughs> okay. See, that one went a little to the right. Look at all the flags. Mm -hmm. I'm recording the flags on this one. Wow, that's got a nice trigger. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice.
So here's just some video um, where I show the actual rifle. Zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the uh, detail on it. Which again, if you head over to Cliff's Varmint to Air blog, uh, the link is down below. Um, you can see some of these close-up pictures. But this was video I took after I shot the rifle a little bit. Now, the rifle is long. It's about 42 inches, but it's very light. Um, and even with the scope on there and such, uh, yes, I shot it from a bench, but it's easy to handle. And as you saw, it's very accurate. I mean, we were shooting at a target 50 yards with the wind, as you saw. Um, it's a one inch round target in the middle, but you know, as you saw, once I got used to the uh, wind, I was hitting the center bull pretty much every time. Um, and I went through about four magazines, which I wasn't obviously going to show all of them on here. And, um, you know, just just get a chance to shoot one of these guns was was especially awesome for me. I mean, obviously every time I head up to Arizona, I meet up with Cliff either for breakfast or just to kind of talk air guns and such. But to get out in the field and shoot this gun, I got to shoot some of his other guns is really special because he has got a collection of guns and if you head over to his blog you'll see because he's done extensive write-ups on guns pellets optics everything and you know there's another look at the front of his blog so head on over there there is a link down below and if you also want to head over to our varmeter.com site and click right here to subscribe we would appreciate it, and if you liked the video, that would be great as well. Thanks, and I shall talk to you soon.